That's what the animal self is. You see? Where we have the animal. An animal is another species. So he's the mammal. Yeah, you have the mammals, which are mainly the oceanography uh, people, I mean creatures. And then the animal is the mammal on top of the ground. It's like you have various mammals, various animals. Meanwhile, until the the grafting, the human or the original people were just one. It wasn't a bunch of, there's not a bunch of humans or humankinds like that until recently. You always have different oceanic, different uh, fish. You got your scavenger fish, you got your... Uh, your regular fish, your clean fish, you got uh, your sharks, your uh, predator fish. Maybe this topic ain't for uh, a lot of people to like, possibly. Maybe you all like that uh, hooping and hollering and all that. You like church still. And no church deals with science. You ask one church, do they deal with science? You deal with beliefs, you got hope. Where's the science at? If they dealt with science, then they would leave the church and Bible alone. They would know scientifically bread can't rain out the sky. They would know scientifically and mathematically that bees, according to their Bible, that bees were flying around dead carcass and stuff, the stuff that they believe happen that that's out of the nature of the bee if you can't see no bees today doing that why in the world would they defy their nature back then and mathematically scientifically how can you prove that other than uh, a writing in a book <laughs> you know they could write in a book that you you had one leg jumping around you know, that all people had one leg. Although, uh, are you fool enough to believe that, to be lied to or believe without any proof? I mean, at least, you know, we know it rained back then. We know that food grew from the earth because that same knowledge can be applied today. So it has validity. It has facts and proof. Although you claiming bread rain out of the sky and uh, everything that's processed, it just skipped. Or water being turned to wine. And we know wine has to be processed. So what that's doing subliminally to the mind in manipulation is not only it's manipulating the mind, it is skipping the mentality of process. So that's why everybody has that lotto mentality, that there's going to be a savior coming and he's just going to uh, clap on, clap off, clap his hands and remove all your problems away. And if that never happens, that's not your God. Or you go to your pastor to get healed. Probably not healed. It's a so-called healing. Although he makes you so-called feel good or feel that your ailment uh, is pushed it aside. And, uh, you know, you... Whatever ailment you had, you know, suddenly you don't have it no more. So instead of you learning how to take care of yourself, because you still can't, no matter how many so-called healings they do, 
He's not stopping the other Christians from being in a wheelchair. Matter of fact, they don't. He can't heal you if you if your legs are gone. They can say whatever they want. Your preacher is not going to attempt to bring the dead from, although he claims Jesus did. And Jesus told him that uh, if they're so literal in their Bible, that Jesus said there that uh, greater works will they do than he him. So if Jesus brought back the dead, why can't the preachers do it? So that's all part of the uh, mental manipulation or the absence of science. This is what happens when you don't have science. That's the point. 